Hey everyone, this is Brandon with Silverback MMA. So for this week's video blog, we're gonna continue looking at our hips because again, so, so important. Uh, we talked about last week, uh, the benefits of uh, initiating movement from our hips. More power, more efficient. So we're gonna continue um, looking at that, breaking actually our punches down now. So we're just gonna be looking at one punch. What is said to be, um, I've heard it said many times, the most important punch in boxing, and that is our jab, what we call our number one punch. So. What we're gonna do, a couple things about the jab. So the jab typically is not looked at, it's not a powerful punch, it's more to set things up, um, to get our range. Um, so we're not trying to generate a ton of force with this, with this punch. And the way we're throwing it today, we can work, there, there are some things we can do to work to create more, more power with this, um, with this jab, kind of a power jab. We're not gonna be doing that as much. We wanna generate as much power as we can with doing two things with maintaining our stance and maintaining our balance. And what I mean by that, two most common things I see when people jab. If I'm here jabbing this bag, is I leave my back, my right foot here planted, I extend my leg, and I throw my jab. So again, I wouldn't say this wrong, the downside to it though is that I'm extended. Now especially outside of boxing, from kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, I'm getting really spread out. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of downside to this. I can't move as well. I can't kick as well. I can't check kicks as well. My head is getting lower um, if a kick or a knee or something like that is coming. So what we want to do is, if I move my front foot, my back foot is going to come the same distance, so I can maintain my stance. Okay. So again, not this. I want to bring both feet in. The second thing I want to do when I jab is I want to maintain my, my weight, my, uh, my balance more. So I say that, kind of my stance, not getting wide, my balance is going to be shifting my weight really far forward. So again, that second thing, a lot of times happens is people, they lean forward on that jab. Now I'm not in a good position to throw a really nice uh, two right hand or really anything else. My, about, my weight is really far forward and I'm not going to need to correct that. So what I want to do is I want to maintain my balance. When I come in for my jab, is my um, about 50-50 weight on my legs. I maintain that. So we're doing those two things, bringing both feet in and maintaining my balance. I'm not shifting my weight forward. Super important. Now, a good way to train that and then to learn to align or jab properly is I think of it as like jousting, right? You're riding the horse, you got your big jousting stick. So my arm is going to become my big joust, my joust, my big staff. The horse, which is how that joust can move, are my legs and my hips. Okay, so again, this is how we can bring our hips alive, even in our jab. It's not we're not throwing a, our hardest strikes. So from here, I'm simply going to extend my arm. Now my elbow needs to stay locked, my wrist needs to stay locked, my shoulder stays locked, and they need to work on being very aligned. So I'm hitting on the right spot of my hand. But the only reason it's going to make contact is because I'm going to move forward and I'm maintaining my balance. So from here. Just coming forward, getting used to using my hips to actually throw my jab. And then my arm can work on being aligned and hitting the right spot. And again, I'm not doing this, which is my waist going forward and my feet are getting wider. My feet maintain the same distance from when they left, and my weight also maintains that about 50-50 balance um, between. So, Try that drill out. I think it's a great way, again, to learn to throw a proper jab, to use our hips, to keep in a good stance, and to keep our balance when we're throwing that jab. So tell, let me know how it goes. Um, you know, let me know, please, any feedback. I'd love to hear it. And this is Brandon with Silverback MMA. Thanks for joining me.